Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by the absolutely fantastic Lindsay, as always. It's great to talk to you. It's great to have you back on. And you're back in the cage. You know, the pandemic's still kind of ongoing, but at least there's fights back. And exactly. Shannon is an absolute legend at Invicta, and she's making it happen for the ladies. So you must kind of feel relieved that, you know, you can get back in there again. Oh, yeah. I mean, it feels like forever since I fought. Uh, so I'm excited to get back in there. I'm excited to be um, able to be on the first card back, too. That's, uh, that's cool. It, it is cool because, <laughs> you know, you got to think about, for a lot of people, it was a question mark of when the events would happen. I know Titan FC just had one, which I'll be honest with you, it blew right over my radar. I didn't know if they had a show on. But at the same time, I knew Invicta kicked on because, you know, I follow the Invicta flag quite well. Do you feel that there's some kind of a spotlight on you then with Invicta? Because obviously you and Alicia are two kind of prospects in that division. They must kind of feel that you two offer something out there for that kind of title potential kind of shot maybe. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, with uh, Ginny Frey getting bumped up to the UFC, which congrats to her. It's freaking awesome. I am so pumped to see that fight against Kay Hansen. I love them both, so I'm excited to see how uh, that fight plays out. So, yeah, with, um, you know, no uh, champion right now, it definitely leaves the door open for us. Yeah, I know. You would have thought maybe, I was, I was hoping they'd be do like a tournament style. You know, one night yeah. tournament would have been fun, but they could still do. But at the same time, for yourself, um, since last year, well, look at that, you got a fight in Risen as well, which was a, a hell of an experience, I imagine, going across over there. Um, you, you've done, you, you're kind of getting around some big promotions. You must, as a fighter, since when I first interviewed you, you've had a few fights since then, you must feel a lot more comfortable when you're in there because you can see the development of yourself, but there must be a lot of confidence in you as your kind of experience comes out and is shown as well in the results. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like, yeah, like you said, the experience really helps. Just um, helps, like you said, make me who I am and help me um, just get better and better and more comfortable in there. So, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, I try to keep evolving and try to keep on getting better with each fight, and uh, I've been doing that. So I'm going to keep doing that and uh, should be the champ. <laughs> and with the training that you've been doing, obviously people have been a bit restricted with the training and stuff like that, and a lot of gyms have cut their training sessions just to just professionals. Um how was it getting training going again? Because obviously I'd imagine the numbers, some people may have had to not train because of not just themselves with their risk, it might have been other people that they know as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, as long as, you know, we found, I found a couple people to be able to train with and that's all you really need. So we've just been training with each other and uh, it's been great. Now, I've, I've been really lucky. Um, I'm bringing um, Sean Santella with me as my coach and um, he fights at 125. So he's a small great, uh, dude and I've been training with him this whole camp. Um, him and Brooke Fahey and um, Alex De La Cruz and like um, you know my my coach Brian McLaughlin's been um, you know putting me through sessions and stuff. So like we've all been figuring it out and we've all been making it work. And you know I've been so lucky. I've been traveling to Jersey to see them and they've been traveling up here to New York to see me. So it's been awesome. We've all been putting in the hard work and I wouldn't. I would have been able to do it without them, so I'm really lucky. Yeah, I was going to say, I did follow, obviously, and saw on social media the images and the pictures of you guys all training together, so it looked like it was a nice small knit, so like you had a small group of you that just focused on training, you could always, obviously, all improve each other, and I, yeah. I suppose it's a confidence thing for you, because I imagine some fighters maybe didn't get the luxury of having that many people around them, just because of the inconvenience of what we're going through at the present yeah. time, so you can imagine some of them, like, for example, I went on the COVID diet, everything tastes good, and that's what I went on, uh, and I'm, I'm sticking, well, send me sticking to it. But uh, with the training and everything going on, were you concerned at all that things might not have happened because just of what was going on? Was it always a worry for you? Because obviously mental stress is a big thing and a big factor in the fight game. For you as well, you've got mind, sport helping you out. Was that something that helped you along this as well? Oh, definitely. Mind sport's the best, Rob. I love him. I actually talked to him this morning, so shout out to him. He, uh, He's the best, man. Love that guy. Um, definitely the best in the business. I actually just posted that this morning. He, yeah, he's helped me gotten through this. Any anything that I've been going through has been hard. I mean, uh, my cat got really sick, and um, honestly, one of the things taking this fight was if my cat was gonna be okay because I had to give him a shot like every day for 84 days, and then I actually just gave him his last shot on Wednesday, and I just got his blood work done, and he's great, and he's doing good. And I feel like that was just a <laughs> stress off my shoulders so I didn't want to leave and have something happen yeah. you know so like honestly the first um you know I, I took the fight right away because I don't ask questions like I want to fight so I always just figure it out like doesn't matter what the stress <laughs> is like, I'm fighting so 
um, when I took it, I was like, are you sure you want to do that? Like, you have a lot going on. And I'm like, yo, no, I'll figure it out. And, uh, you know, there was a little doubt. So I'm like, oh, God, so I'm going to have to teach somebody to give me give my cat a shot. And, like, to give a cat a shot is, like, not the easiest thing. And, like, when you're used to doing it, it's just easier for you to do it. And, like, I had my friend helping me. Uh, shout out to Nate. Like, dude, he has been the bomb. Like, it's so hard to give a cat a shot. And, like, hopefully he'll, he'll like him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he thinks I'm coming the door and he's like, oh, no. Like, not not again. Like, not again. <laughs> Hoping he'll, he'll come back around, um, but he's a really loving cat, so he will. Yeah, you got um, a uh, cat page, haven't you? Instagram. I do. Yeah, <laughs> I started a cat page. You know, um, the triple vet kitties. <laughs> <laughs> my two cats, and my crazy cat mom now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're all, yeah, you'll get ahead of the game. You're thinking, I'm not doing it in 20 years. I'm just doing it now. I'm starting now. Yeah. Why not start now being crazy cat? Like, I mean, like shit. <laughs> like, yeah. And they're all young cats, like all kitties. Like one's uh, a little over a year. Uh, one's like nine months and one's like four and a half months. So they're all still a little young, so they play a lot. And dude, there's a lot of cat jujitsu going on in this house. I'm just saying, like it's great. <laughs> um, I actually gave my blue belt to my my oldest. She graduated to blue belt, so that's, that's a big achievement. Well done, well done to her. She deserves. Yeah, she deserves. She's looking for team now. She's she's mastered her bottom game, you know. So <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah. She deserves a ball of string for that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, that, yeah. that was a weight off my shoulders because originally um, they were going to do the fight this week and um, I would have I would have had to leave, you know, in the beginning of this yeah. week. So I would have had to teach somebody to do a shot for a couple of days. So when they bumped it to the next week, I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so thank That's you, great. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's a legend, now, Shannon. And now... <laughs> Like I said, you've improved, and you've obviously got this Invicta fight coming on. The lights are going to be on Invicta, and and it's actually kind of almost like a good thing, because there's not many fight cards going on in the world. Next week, you must be kind of happy and looking to promote yourself as a fighter again, because it's a great opportunity, because the amount of people that can tune in, and probably will tune in, I know I do anyway, but you know, you must see that as a kind of great time, because I see a lot of... Um, I know of your social media, you seem to have a lot of support from kind of, I see sponsors and stuff like that, you know, and, yeah. and that's, which is huge and it's great. But what I see is a great thing. They see you as a marketable person. You did that photo shoot as well. Um, yep. I, I, as most men like myself, we probably don't realize what you were marketing. We didn't really, we just saw the pictures and that's about it. But, you know, you see all this is coming along. You, you must be seeing this as an opportunity for that side as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, I'm a broke-ass fighter, so I gotta make some kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get it going a little bit, like, start, like, branding myself and uh, trying to get more sponsors and stuff like that, but I've been really lucky with the sponsors. Everybody's so cool. I just got a couple of new sponsors, so, uh, yeah, shout-out to North Force One. I'm wearing their um, bio strap right now. been tracking my sleep. Dude, crazy Ooh. cool apps. Um, like, being able to see like how many times I woke up in the middle of the night and like it's cool you can see like your heart rate too so like if like a cat like woke me up in the middle of the night like crazily my heart like my heart rate goes up you know I'm like oh that's, uh, that's when uh you know Kamora jumped on me last night you know so, like, well like, I'll have like a bad dream and I'm like oh yep that's when I woke up <laughs> yeah I, I I sleep like a log I have to say I reckon I, I when I, my head goes on that pillow I can go to sleep yeah. pretty quick and I don't wake up till that alarm goes off I'm I'm pretty solid sleep. I think my I think I'd be pretty good on one. I've not used one yet. I reckon mine be solid, like a steady heart rate, and yeah, I wouldn't be, move an inch. Yeah, and it tells you like your how like long your deep sleep is, mm. how long your yeah sleep REM sleep. Is, yeah, as you wake up, so it's really cool. And honestly, like what's the coolest part is like even though like I say all like in my head I'm like oh I got seven hours of sleep tonight, but then I don't I I never keep track of like oh how many times did I wake up, how long mm. was I up for when I did wake up. So it's like. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I got someone else sleep, but I really only got six because the amount of times I woke up and was awake, I didn't even realize. I'm like, oh my god, I only got six hours. Of sleep. Like I'm learning that I mostly only get six hours of sleep. I'm like, okay, I need to work on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I found, <clears throat> the only thing I liked about yeah, COVID, was working from home. I really enjoyed that because with the working from home, it really helped me because I got an extra hour in bed. I didn't have to wake up till about ooh five, ten to nine, roll out my bed, stumble downstairs. Quick, turn on my computer and start working. It was fabulous. I loved it. I got a bit longer in bed. That is really, really nice. Yeah, a bit of ACDC to wake me up at 10 to 9, and then I was up and gone, and that was me. 
It's the best alarm clock in the world, ACDC people. Oh, that's a fun way to wake up. It's gr- oh, every time. It's the best way. I love it. I love a bit of ACDC. And uh, Lindsay, yeah, like I say, you've coming back this year. Have you got any kind of goals this year, though? I'm curious because obviously this is the first opportunity of 2023 to kick things off. Uh, with it looking like Invicta is going to possibly, she'll get a few more fight cards on this year. Have you got any kind of goals anyway this year set out due to obviously the bump you've had? Everyone's had a bump because of this COVID. Yeah, I mean, I, you know me, I have to fight as much as possible. And yep. um, so I would love to get at least like two more fights in there. That'd be like mm. really great. I mean, I fought five times last year. So if I can get like three, maybe four this year, I mean, like I know four is probably a stretch, but if I can get three, I'll be really happy with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like I might get the belt this year. You know, I feel like I deserve the title shot. Um, you know, obviously I have Alicia in front of me and uh, once I beat her, I should get that title shot. So I'm hoping that will happen this year. Yeah. Champ of 2020, you know? Yeah, that'd be awesome. A good way to end the year for a title exactly. shot, you know? Yeah. It'd be fantastic stuff, especially here. Yeah, you you beat, you know? You got, and then you get Alicia as well. You get two two wins in a row, two fight win streak, vacant belt. And I think that's possibly what they're doing at the moment. They might be looking to line up a, 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 two contenders to fight for the strap and uh, you perform and well. Also, I mean, like, come on, let's do it. <laughs> and the Atomweight division is stacked. It's a fantastic division, the Atomweights, and there's so much talent in there. It's an exciting division to watch. I really do. I think it's a. I think it should be the only. I think in the UFC, for example, there should be a 105, 1, 115, and 125, and 135, in my opinion. I don't think the 145 is really yeah. applicable. That's my personal opinion. I don't think the depth is at 145, and, and the quality isn't at 145. Not yet, anyway. I think it should stay regional for now and let that build up. Um, yeah, I would. I, that's my personal opinion. I know, obviously, everyone has different views on that, on different weight classes. But for me, I think the one one hundred five division is a division you could actually have right now with a oh, lot I'm, of women in. Like, what is the reasoning? It. Yeah, I don't know. I. I, uh, I, oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm stuck. I'll call Dana and ask him. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. Too. I totally have it memo, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. We WhatsApp all the time. You know how it is. You know, he sends me pictures. I'm <laughs> like, Dana, get a grip. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll, uh, I, I'd say I think 105 should be, I think 105 is a stronger division. Between 105 and 145, I think 105 is levels above. And it's, I feel like too, yeah, I feel like it's deeper than that division. So that's why I'm like, yeah. I don't understand why they don't. And I feel like a lot of girl, a lot of smaller 115 ones might go down. So it's like, yeah. Tisha Torres. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think Tisha Torres would fit in there. Uh, Karate Hot, you might even go down to 105. You know, there's a handful of girls there that could actually probably cut down to 105. Not Jessica Andrade, thankfully, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no thanks. She's a, she's a good monster at 115, so uh, boom. Uh, God bless them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look, Lizzie, I'm going to let you shoot off and let you enjoy the rest of your day with the cats. Having a lot of fun with them. I know, but I miss them so much when I leave. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, I'm going to give some quality time with them before you let, before you go, you yeah. see. And obviously get yourself packed. Uh, before I let you go, as always, give us your show, social media and give us your sponsors. And as always, give any thanks and uh, shout-outs to people you need to give thanks to. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, uh, my uh, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, it's all damsel underscore MMA. Make it easy for you guys. Um, I'm mostly on Instagram if you want to get a hold of me. Um, I just... I don't know. I I used to go on Facebook a lot. Uh, like I really never go on Twitter. So if you're trying to get a hold of me, Twitter is not the way to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, um, all my posts do kind of linger over, so you know you'll still see shit. You know. Anyway, um, <laughs> I want to thank my manager for being awesome. I'm Sean Rockwell with Prime Elite Management. Boop, boop. Look at this awesome show he made. Um, looking nice. I know. Um, but yeah, he's awesome. He's done so much for me. So I want to give him a shout out and um. What else? Uh, well, North Force One, I already mentioned. They're one of my new sponsors. They are amazing. Um, I can't wait to go uh, hang out with them in Arizona and uh, catch up and uh, get some training in. Um, also, shout out to my uh, Titan Alkaline Water Ionizer. I post about them a lot. They are amazing. I've been able to uh, stay healthy during all this time with my immune boosting um, alkaline water. So, guys. I save money on water now, I feel like. Like, I don't have to buy water bottles all the time. So, like, I just fill up everything with my alkaline water. And it's more healthier. So, that is a good point, people. Um, but those are my two main um, awesome new sponsors. Also, actually, I'm sitting on what I just did a workout in my sand dune. 
Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen your videos I have now. Yeah. Bring it with me to the fights because it's a great warm up. Um, it helps with uh, ankle and uh, knee mobility and um, keeping everybody uh, everything strong. Working on your um, tendons and ah. um, stuff. So yeah, it's really really good. Um, they have an awesome awesome um, Instagram page. So follow the uh, stand doing stuff on Instagram. They post the coolest videos of different all different kinds of athletes using it, and it's really really good. Like if you're especially like you coming off with like an ACL injury mm -hmm. or a knee injury or ankle injury, it really will help, really helpful in getting back to training. So, um, yeah, they really helped me in quarantine. I'm like, they like, they, I hit them up and they were like, yeah, we'll send you one. And I'm like, oh my god, you're amazing. <laughs> so I'm so lucky to have this. It's like a great training tool during this time, and um, all my my leg muscles are feeling nice. So yeah, um, shout out to those three new awesome sponsors, and uh, I shout out Mind Sport. They were amazing too. Um, and I just actually got my massage from Hope, and I posted that too. Um, I was lucky to get in there before I left to get a massage, so I'm feeling nice. <laughs> nice and relaxed and open, yeah, nice. Ready to go. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. That's what I like to hear. Fantastic. Look, yeah. as always, pleasure having you on. Pleasure to speak to you and catch up with you. I hope you have a fantastic trip. As always, in Victor FC, he always looks after the girls. It's going to be awesome and again have a splendid week and take care and hopefully when you get back the cats will love you and they won't be scared that you're going to stick a needle in them at me. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like mom where were you <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy i know <laughs>